<laughs> Today, we're checking out the new episode of That Time I Got Reincarnated as a Slime. But first, click the like button, comment, and subscribe to the channel so you can help us get to 100,000 subscribers by the end of the year. We're like at 86,000 right now. Okay, I think we're gonna end the month around 87. I think 100,000 subscribers is definitely happening this year. So make sure you subscribe and be part of that first 100,000. And you can find the full length as well as exclusives over on Patreon. Plus, you'll find some other links down in the description like the link to my second channel where I do non-anime reactions or the link to my Twitch channel where I'm literally watching this episode live on stream with these people right here. And you can be like these people right here by showing up on Friday. And I will actually be streaming every single day through the first of july so make sure you stop by one of the streams hang out with us we watch slime we watch a bunch of different stuff and i'll see you there Yo, he's writing individual letters to everyone holy shit fresh press juice damn <laughs> fucking walter white over here <laughs> Cooking for sure. Damn, dude. Yeah, Veldora Hibachi? Maybe. Oh. Okay. Oh, new OP? New OP? I just hope that this one's better than the last one, dude. I did not like the last one. Oh, it's got the merchant guy in it, too. That's kind of cool. Hey! Okay, dude. I like that. I hope it actually does go that way. It's gonna build a coliseum. What the fuck? There's definitely a festival. That's obvious. It does feel like maybe a tournament or something with the, with the whole coliseum thing. I don't know how to feel about it. I'm gonna be real with you. Shion, can't Shion make anything? Can't she just instantly turn her food to be delicious? Just have Shion make it, give it to him. He'll eat it. It'll be the best thing he's ever tasted. But it won't look nice. It doesn't matter as long as it satisfies him. I'm sorry, I'm gonna be real with y'all chat. I don't think that anybody's ever making me an omelet and making and making me like be swayed by a fucking by egg. She might have used some sort of magic. If she used some sort of magic, then maybe. <laughs> oh shit. The fuck is that? Oh, you about oh, he's about to get fucking bodied, bro. He is about to get absolutely fucked right now. That's crazy. Oh shit. Oh shit. Wait, what the fuck just happened? He did want an excuse to get rid of him? Sure, fair, but... I mean, this guy's literally saying he would kidnap slaves from... He would kidnap elves as slaves from the forest. What forest? Isn't this something, like, Rimuru would, like, be... I don't know. Uh, this guy's definitely gonna come in here and, and be a dickhead again. Guaranteed. It would be the forest of Jura. That's what I thought, right? What the fuck? Okay. This is all I wanted to see. I wanted to make sure that he told Rimuru about this. And he did, so I'm good. Don of the Underworld. What's this new idea? What do we got here? 
Juice. Wait, what? Oh, shit. I have this <laughs> I have this friend named Veldora. I don't know if you've heard of him. Oh. Veldora, I don't know. I don't I don't know. <laughs> Teppanyaki shop, okay. The safety of these five people. All right. That was resolved very easily. I wonder what the nickname is going to be. Oh, I like that. Well, they're hunting like genuine monsters. In the fishing, they're catching genuine monsters. What the fuck? Yeah, I would think a theme park makes sense. You know, like a little, a, like a fair type of thing at the very least. Oh, that's why they create the tournament. Got super fucking enthusiastic. Yeah, I would, I would say. Jesus. Oh, a theater. Oh. Dude, now they're coming up with some good shit. An arena, a theater so they can put on plays. They'll be able to make some real entertaining entertainment. That was stupid for me to say. Whatever. I'm surprised he like dude so far they've discussed a, a lot of shit like he wants these like he wants to set up these businesses fast food businesses right he wants to take five of the employees for Veldora he wants to create more entertainment here he wants the arena for the tournaments and also set up the tournament it's kind of giving him a lot of work bro this he's like booking him out for the next year or something like to do all these things Fifty thousand. Oh, that's sick. Oh, wait, you have to stand? Oh, nah, bro. I'm good. Okay, I kind of see the vision, though, right? Yeah, and the benefit of having it like be massive, 50,000, and even like not nobles able to go is that now the whole vibe will be better. It'll just be a whole better vibe instead of everyone being nobility. Maybe they feel like they got to tone it down because there's other nobles around them. They can't be as excited. They can't fucking just be crazy because I have to be a noble. Mm. The arena is going to be rocking. Not going to lie, if it's 50,000, you make 40,000 standing and then 10,000 reserved, not reserved, but like seated. Maybe of the 10,000, you make 2,000 reserved or something like that. Or maybe you would change those numbers up. Maybe you have left even less standing. I don't know. Bro, he needs to host like UFC events once a month or something. Obviously, it has to be a fighting event. Maybe even concerts there. Music, concerts. <laughs> hey, bro, they, hey, they like their money, bro. Oh, they are about their money.
Oh, so true. You can literally go all out as long as you don't genuinely kill someone. Bro, he just capped his ass off and I love it, dude. Wait, it said something about gambling. Hold on. We could also sell weapons and armor made in Tempest to adventurers, of course. How about the administration of gambling as a national? Gamble on the shit too? Oh, bro, they're gonna make crazy money, bro. Crazy money, bro. You get hooked, get people hooked on gambling? Come on, bro. I wonder how much of a step up it is to, from being a merchant to being whatever role he would have here. He's so scared of him. And now they're dead. <laughs> and now they're dead. Yo, so this is like the growth of Tempest Arc. Not to say that like Tempest hasn't been growing this entire time. Like I get that. I get that Tempest has been growing this entire time. I just think that this is like an arc dedicated to celebrating the growth, I guess, but also expanding it more and becoming accepted, I guess. I don't know how to summarize that into one word. The Tempest Flourishing Arc. That's that's decent. That's decent. I'll go with that. Let's go with that for now. We'll call it the Tempest Flourishing Arc. Mm. <laughs> Dude, he's passing on a letter to Yuki as well. What? What? I thought we were gonna get the letter being handed off to Yuki, no? What the fuck is this? Is that Shuna? Bro, why Shuna look like this? Is, is Shuna's horns that big? Oh, she's so cute. This better be a big fucking uh, Shuna arc. I don't like this. Why is she getting all the stuff? Why is nobody else getting stuff? Other people deserve some some spotlight too, not just Shuna, the hero they mentioned in the episode. Yeah, I know that they mentioned that. They, no, but I'm saying, is he somebody that we someone that we had already been introduced to? But I think they just introduced him. That's what I was asking. Had he already been introduced or not? Because y'all are like, oh Masayuki, and I'm like, oh wait, am I supposed to know this guy? But it's probably just because you guys read the manga or the light novel, and you're like, yo, I can't wait. Hey, with that said, I'd love to know what you all thought about this one down in the comments. How you feel about the stuff going on with the uh, Merchant Man? Some interesting stuff. Can't wait to say this. Can't can't wait to see the tournament. Can't wait to see the different foods they come up with, and any sort of technological advances, any sort of entertainment that they create uh, for visitors to the town. You know, I think that they're going to be very much like a tourist economy. But yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comments. And if you enjoyed the video. Don't just comment. Also like and subscribe to the channel. That way you could help us get to 100,000 subscribers by the end of the year. Until next time, make sure you all keep it fresh. Peace.